गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज एंड टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज पी एंड आई डायग्राम and study of pi diagram in previous class you have seen some pi symbols p and i piping and instrument okay so this is uh, this is p and i diagram oh, oh. so this is p and i diagram and now today i am giving you a real time is sample a signal and then you have to go for the study it so this is a panel diagram you can see there is this square in between look here some alphabetic signals uh, is there like look if i see if i see 201 okay and here some arrow is given over here then it is given if p then it is going to this controller look this is also a device and it is also in this this is tic tic this is also given 201 okay this is dotted line is given here A round shape device is there. It is given T T T T. This is two zero one. Here a straight line is there. Some input line is given over here. you carry the symbol of valve and later i will explain all of this look this is a dotted line and this is given ty and here you can see this is a signal line also there okay and here some dotted line is coming okay if if okay so guys this is our symbols oh, sorry here you have to write t201 so and here you have to write f f201 okay so guys this is your guys this is your panel diagram so how could you understand our uh, question is asked what explain this panel diagram how could i understand what is the process so first start if i see 201 look everywhere 
we have we have to put some 201 201 this is tt201 this is tic201 tyt01 and ff201 so why every time we are writing 201 because 201 is indicating getting a particular process say this is a process this is a process look so this process is called 201 so this item this device and this device all are related to the 201 process that's why we are writing this is uh, fic201 tic201 ty201 and everything indicating under 201 but uh, the alphabetic code are different look say this is a process something is going on say temperature control is doing over here or, or something is there but the process name is only 201 so panel we can understand only this thing now first it is come here sorry here it is f not ff this is ft so ft201 so ft201 first we have to know it is a round symbol round symbol means it is it is is a field mounted you have seen field mounted means it is at the field first this is at the field mounted and what is the ft is something is field mounted is there and look this is a dotted line dotted line means it is a electrical signal so it is a electrical signal electrical okay this is the electrical signal and ft something is ft maybe flow transmitter is there uh, but from only ft we can understand but in your panel you have seen there is a little uh, nomenclature is there then you can see this is a flow transmitter so flow transmitter means it will measure the flow and then it will transmit to the controller look here it is coming to the the fic fic means generally ic or the last letter c stands for the controller but it is not a thumb rule but it is the fic so flow indicating controller or you can see you may see this is the flow controller flow controller for the 201 and okay so FIC located in the, this position and this is a, a connected with the electrical signal. Okay. And here it is coming. Look from this flow controller. It is coming to the TY. What is this TY? I, this type of symbol all is located in an, an inaccessible or the behind the panel board because here the dotted line is there. You can see whenever there is a square line and within this a line is there or it is if a straight line is there then it is just at the the panel but uh, operator but, but whenever it is a dotted line so it is behind the panel okay if there is a straight line then front at the front of this line and if there is a dotted line then it is indicating the behind of this panel okay and look this is the ty why does it mean ty201 look here a electrical signal is coming electrical signal is coming because it's a dotted line but whenever it is going to the valve it is going to the valve connected here it is a pneumatic signal so what what is this this is a actually converter this is a i2 P converter okay means electrical signal is coming and pneumatic signal is outgoing to this valve this is a valve okay control valve sorry this is a process valve not control valve uh, process valve is a flow is entering to this is process means maybe water maybe any liquid it is flowing through entering into this process but we have to control this how could I control this we have to require a drive okay so drive or something is there so this portion is working for the purpose 
and this is i to p converter look whatever the controller if i keep the flow controller is indicating this uh, this is taking by the electrical signal and then it is converting to the pneumatic signal because pneumatic line is there so it is a i to p converter okay and here y y letter is generally indicating the converter section so ti transmitter or the mainly it is a converter so it is mentioned as a ty and it is in behind this panel panel when as this the dotted line is there and the output signal of this two the of this ty20 you can see this is a the pneumatic and by this way we can understand pneumatic is going line and there is a double line plus you can see this is double line plus or the two parallel lines are there and incoming is the current so it is the i to p converter and you can see whenever y is there then you can understand this is a the converter okay if a pneumatic line is coming and electrical signal was going on then it is it will be p to y converter oh okay and now you can see here is a, a this is a process and here here tt is given tt201 201 for the process and tt tt means that is a a temperature which are indicator a temperature sensor temperature sensor or temperature indicator whatever may be mainly, mainly it is given the uh, the results of temperature but it is given in the sense of any electrical line look this is a straight line a uh, direct line and it is directly connected and it is given a electrical signal so it is a sensor which is given electrical signal which one it may be tc it may be uh, it may be rtd rtd or it may be your thermistor whatever may be but which one producing the electrical signal look this is the electrical signal and now here you can see tic tic means this is temperature controller c means this is a controller this is fic flow controller and tic means the temperature controller okay this temperature controller is connected with the electrical signal but this line you can see this line is the data link line okay this flow controller uh, temperature controller to the flow controller it is given in the data line means it, it may be a network line uh, uh, not only your this type of internet is there it may be hard communication it may be ring bus communication it may be profi bus communication okay so mainly data link is there so it is going for the computer link and it is given in the uh, uh, electrical link so in this way we can we can study a panel or a process okay so this is the uh, this is this is the important thing piping and instrument diagram in this way we can understand the process now another example uh, guys i think you can understand this thing then another uh, example it is given i want to draw this diagram look y i c this is 201 y i c this is just round shape this is z s h z s h x x x anything maybe this is s s stands for solenoid solenoid is connected to this dotted line with this controller line then it is coming to the this is is also a valve
it should be a plus line it means a pneumatic line is there Okay, so this is a panel diagram. We have to explain it. What is this? First, look, this is YC. YIC, it is indicate a on-off valve, which is controlled by a solenoid. This is a on-off valve, which is controlled by a solenoid. But what is the position? You can see this position. This is this position at the panel mounted okay as this is a solenoid solenoid is the electrical line electrical signal line this is a dot line uh, not dotted line it is straight line so it is becoming a power line okay and this is controlled by this solenoid valve and it is fitted with a limit switch so that it is indicated indicate the open GSH. Look, this is an open panel. Okay. And because no covering is there and GSH and it is closed GFL. Okay. This is open and closed bar switch. This is open switch and this is a closed switch. And all inputs outs and outputs outs are wired to this PLC that associated with the, the operator. Look, this is the PLC symbol. Okay, within this uh, box, there is a, this symbol is PLC. And it is, it is diamond shape if within this is square. And the letter Y indicates the event state or the, the presence. This way, it is present at the operator. That's why this is a first started with the given. And this is your uh, three-way valve, and this is your pneumatic line, and this is the main valve. So this is this is open and closed switch by which it is indicating this valve. And the I depict the indication is provided, and the letter C means that the control takes place in this device. That is the Y I C. Y indicate the event. Look, Y Y indicate the event. Some event is going on. That's why it is given Y event. I is indicating thing. It is depicted means something is showing. Depict D E I C depicted. Okay, and C means when some control is taking place. Place. Control is taking place. Okay, so some event at the control is going on, which is depicted over here. That's why it is given YIC201. And it is JSH, JSH for the high, and JSH, which is the low. And it is as this circle form, that's why it is the open to all. Okay. This is a pneumatic line. Pneumatic line. Okay. So this main valve is controlled by this process. So this is uh, all about PI diagram for the today. If you guys have any question, you may ask me.